Okay, today I'm going to be auto mechanic. I have my, well it actually was my car, but I had to give it to my mother-in-law because the air conditioning number didn't work in my car and I had to put, fix that flapper thing. Anyway, I'm going to be working on a Dodge Caravan 2002 whose uh, blower is not working right. This is what happens. Put the speed to anything but high, it doesn't work. Nothing, nothing, nothing. High speed works. Okay, the, resist <coughs> the resistors in this van are in a very simple spot. They're located right behind your glove box. Open your glove box, push in the two sides and drop it down. That's the resistor. So I'll be removing that box right here. Okay, we located the resistor behind the glove box. And now we need to remove the um, pigtail wire connectors from the resistor receptacle. There's a little gadget here you have to squeeze down and pull out. Okay. And the other side there's a pin where your thumb hooks on. You squeeze in and pull out. Okay, we've got our wires disconnected. And the next step is to remove there's two screws, one on each side of the housing. Uh, using a 516th Already loosen these up. One on each side of the housing. Okay. And voila. Here you go. This is the resistor packet that we have to replace. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Okay, well, that was a real disappointment. AutoZone doesn't have the part. It says I might have to go to Dodge. I'm not liking to go to Dodge. They charge me three times as much. Perfect. Advanced Auto Part had the part. 19 bucks. Okay, this should be a very easy change. Here's the new design, which looks a little different from the old one. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. Okay, this should just sit right in here like this. So we're going to add this. And we'll just replace the screws on each side. Hold it in place. Cable. Snap in the wire housing. housing. Here it click. Okay, you're gonna test it out. Low. Higher. Yep. All work. It was all just right beside the glove box. Real easy fix. Changing your blower.